I had five suicide attempts. My most recent and final suicide attempt was uh, November 4th of 2013. When all seemed lost, veteran John Lubecki decided to take one last unorthodox chance. A tiny pill ingested in a darkened room, buried under blankets, surrounded by professionals. Sometimes people report a lot of thoughts going very fast. A once infamous club drug unexpectedly becoming a final hope for healing. MDMA, methylene dioxymethamphetamine, known on the street as ecstasy or molly. There was a nickname for your base. Yeah, Mortaritaville. Lubecki served in Iraq in 2006 as a member of the Army National Guard. When he returned home, he was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. Every single day, no matter how good or bad the day was, my brain was trying to figure out how to, how to kill myself. You and were suicidal every day? Every day. In 2014, Lubecki volunteered for a clinical trial studying whether MDMA could enhance therapy. The trial conducted by a nonprofit research organization called MAPS, the Multidisciplinary Association for Psychedelic Studies. Rick Doblin is the founder and executive director. Many studies of PTSD don't work with people who have attempted to kill themselves in the past. We felt that we have to work with the people who are suffering the most. Initially used by psychotherapists in the 1970s, MDMA became a street drug in the 80s, and it was outlawed by the DEA in 1985. A lot of people still do have that image of their minds, Timothy Leary, psychedelics, counterculture, hippies. Why is that a false impression? So it's being administered in a different context under controlled settings with people that are suffering and trying to help them lead a better life and to stay alive, not to commit suicide. MAPS is in phase three trials with the FDA, studying MDMA's effectiveness in treating PTSD, but it's also studying how MDMA could be used to treat a range of issues, from alcoholism to social anxiety to people coping with life-threatening illnesses. I just felt awful. You know, I just felt like, am I not gonna be here for my boys? Andy Gold, a San Francisco-based attorney, had just finished treatment for colon cancer in 2005 when he was mistakenly told his cancer had metastasized. I gradually slipped into a small D depression. I just gradually lost uh, joy in my life. Like Lubecki, Gold later volunteered for a MAPS study of MDMA-assisted therapy, completing three eight-hour therapy sessions either under the influence of MDMA or a placebo. It quickly became clear to Andy and John what they received. About the 40-minute mark, it kicked in. I was just bowled over. It was a different experience from feeling high. I was not frightened. I knew that I was like in some other kind of perceptual dimension. I was able to talk about things that I had never brought up before to anyone. I wasn't even there. But he was one of my guys and... And it was okay. My body did not betray me. I didn't get panic attacks. I didn't shut down emotionally. So you've had a peak? How does it work? So one of the things that MDMA does is it reduces activity in the fear processing part of the brain, the amygdala, so that memories that are linked to this fear, somehow the fear is calmed and you can feel safe and there's this release of oxytocin which is the hormone of love and connection nursing mothers the impact of the mdma assisted therapy sessions transformational the malaise sort of dissipated i returned to myself you don't have ptsd now nope not at all do you feel healed absolutely 100 percent in a MAP study released this year, 67% of the participants in the MDMA group no longer qualified for the diagnosis of PTSD two months after treatment. What does this moment mean for psychedelic treatment? If we do succeed with our second phase three study, it means that the whole field of psychedelic psychotherapy has been proven in one instance, and it's the pathbreaker with the FDA. The FDA could approve MDMA for PTSD as soon as next year. In the meantime, the treatment remains largely out of reach for the 15 million adults in the U.S. currently struggling with the condition. What's your message to fellow veterans who might be watching this and suffering as you once were? This treatment is the reason that my son has a father instead of a folded flag. I want all of you to be around when this is FDA approved.
You can make it. I know what the, your suffering is like. I will tell you, it's all gone. 